Hi guys, I wanted to tell you a few words about the Hadarabo cosmetics I bought in Rossman. I bought them about six months ago, but I was waiting for my other products to finish before I opened them because I don't like having a lot of waste. I bought them in a promotion 3 for 2. I paid about 100 zloty, which means about 20 pounds. I've got the anti-aging lotion, the skin plumbing gel cream and concentrated water serum. I don't know what's the equivalent of these products, of none of these really. The closest I can guess uh, the lotion is the red lotion uh, from a Japanese Hadalabo, but the consistency is very different. For anyone who doesn't know, I'm using the original Hadalabo products for the last eight years. So I first opened the serum, it will be few weeks ago now. The consistency is very thick, very smooth. It feels like a thick silk. It felt really good on my skin and I was just about to take a photo and share until that very evening when I got home I realized I have some spots. Then I took a break and applied it again with uh, the same results and then I think I've, I've waited another week uh, and tried it again but the spots came out again. However, these two are actually not bad at all. One morning I've tried both of them together. They felt really good on my skin until I've tried to put the foundation on. The BB cream I've uh, applied started rolling together with that cream, so it didn't look great. But when I started using them for the night time, they actually did a very good job. I don't have problem with my skin hydration, but when I use these two, they plummet to the next level. It's like a, a water drop. It's just so plump, so firm. It it feels like a baby skin, so that's definitely a great effect. That cream I could classify as a decent night cream, but I struggle to classify this one because in my opinion it's too thick for the daytime. Um, for nighttime, it's, yeah, it's, it's good, but to be honest I still prefer the original uh, red uh, version because it's thinner. I have a little complaint with all three of them is that they are much thicker, they are not the same as the original Hadalabo. I believe it's down to um, the brand trying to fit more in European customers. Uh, in Asia, first of all, they tend to have a little bit oil oilier skin as well as the humidity in the air is higher, while in Europe uh, this is not the case. Another reason for them being thicker, I think it's because um, when you uh, look at the package, they recommend to use them as a series. There are four products in a series. Well, in Japan or Korea, there can be up to 10 layers of different uh, cosmetics, so uh, they naturally will have to be thinner than these. My other complaint would be that they seem quite... Um, flat when it comes to ingredients. So even if you buy four of them, they are all based on hyaluronic acids. They have some addition, like this one has collagen and retinol, which is great. But as far as I'm concerned, there's not that much else in all four of them. So to me, applying four cosmetics from the same series, it just wouldn't um, give you all your skin needs. To me, the whole point of having different layers of cosmetics is so you can mix and match different active ingredients so uh, you know you can provide to your skin all it needs. Overall the serum didn't work for me at all. These two are alright. I don't know if I would buy that cream again just because if I'm already using a lotion I don't know if I need another cream just with hyaluronic acid. If anything I would buy that one However, for me, I prefer the original Japanese red lotion because it's thinner. They are extremely moisturizing, so if someone has a dehydrated or dry skin and has never used a proper hyaluronic acid, then probably that lotion will be something I would recommend. I've had some questions about ingredients in that series, especially what could be the ingredient that caused problems with that serum. So I've looked into it. This serum, unlike the other products, 
has something called triglycerides that can be quite challenging for some skins. In that gel plumbing cream there are some silicones which may not suit everybody. Overall I'm happy that uh, awesome Japanese cosmetics start to reach European markets. I will watch that space, see what's next. Thanks very much for uh, your attention, for spending this time with me. Uh, good luck with this and see you later. Bye!